Dog Speed. I'm Betty. I'm Jody. You know that. Yes, hello, hello. <laughs> to our Christmas episode. Cheers to Christmas. Cheers to Christmas. Here you go. Cheers, friend. Wait a minute. Did you put alcohol in this eggnog? Of course. What do you think? Uh, I'm not having any. You know what? Because I got to drive. We all got to drive. What? Everyone's driving. You all got to drive. Okay. Right. So, it's Christmas, but not that you would know it, because every time you turn on your TV, what do you see? Bad news. Bad news. Gloom and doom. I'm sick of it. So stupid. It's Christmas. Give me a break. You know what I want for Christmas? Huh. No more bad news. Thank you. Yeah, it's Christmas. You think you got Santa coming down the chimney? It's ISIS. <laughs> Isis, okay? Isis, enough. Take a day off. Enough. Go take a nap. Go for a walk. Yeah. Do something nice. Yeah. Go see a movie. Yeah, go see, go see Star Wars. Oh, my God. Enough. No, enough with enough Star Wars. With Star Wars. I don't want any more Star right. Wars, okay? May the Force give me a break already. Ugh. I'm saturated. saturated. Everywhere you look, it's Star Wars and yogurts and soups and buses and backpacks and candy bars Ugh. and crackers and soups. You know what? Not for me. Too many lasers and corridors and bleep blops. It's exhausting. Grow up. Also, there's, there's a giant talking dog in that movie. So dumb. Yeah, that's right. They call it a woo a wookie. A wookie. <laughs> and his name is Chewy. You know what? I'm throughy with Chewy. Yeah. Because he's a wookie. A wookie. What, what the hell's a wookie? A dog man that flies a plane. Pass. <laughs> you know how to say I'm sick of Star Wars and wookie? <laughs> interested in is more counter space. Thank you. Because my dumb husband takes it up with all this neutral bullet. Oh, he's so dumb. Makes his shakes. Oh, shakes are dumb. My dumb husband made meatballs with too much garlic in the other night, and we're laying in bed, and he's farting in his sleep. And I'm blaming it on the dog. Dog looks at me and says, uh-uh, it's that guy. Husbands are so dumb. But I love him. Farts and all. He farts like a dog. But he makes love to me so tenderly. <laughs> and you have four children. Oh my God, Jody, really relax. I'm fine. I'm fine. Anyway, who cares? All right. All right. Let's bring out the first guest. Who is it? All right. We, we, no one was available because of the holidays, so I got oh. my cousin Karen from Philly. Oh, right, cousin Karen. I like her. She's cute. Yeah, she's cute, right? She's bringing some home, homemade Christmas ornaments. Oh. She's gonna show it to us. She sells them on Etsy or whatever. Great. <laughs> Come on in. Come on, Karen. Hurry up now. <laughs> Good to see you, Karen. How, how, are things, Karen. how are things in Philly? Yeah, okay. You know, I just got done clearing Deadfall out of my yard, and I made a gang of stuffed peppers to take down the shore. My son, Dave, just started ROTC. How are you? Oh, my God, Karen. I forgot what a beautiful accent you have. You sound... You sound fancy. So classy. So classy. Yeah, hey, don't be stupid. Oh, I have always, always been jealous of that accent. Yeah. I wish I had an accent. Me too. <laughs> I talk so boring. Yeah. Okay, say things in Philly. Say water. Water. What does she say? Uh. Say water. Water. What does she say? Water. Water. What's she saying? Water. Say water. Water, yeah, water. Uh, uh, What'd she say? So water? Beautiful. So beautiful. It's so like beautiful. downtown Abbey. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you go home, you have a maid that has a pinafore. You talk like a beautiful fairy. Yeah. So what's new in Philly? Yeah. Well, you know, my brother Dave and his friend Dave and their other friend Dave saw a guy beat a Salvation Army Santa with an old car battery in the Wawa parking lot. <laughs> now, Philly's a war zone. Okay, Karen, we don't want any more bad news. We are sick of bad news, Karen. Okay, well, this is kind of good news. Um, the other day, a serial killer killed another serial killer in front of the Liberty Bell. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's two less serial killers. In Philly, we call that a Christmas miracle. <laughs> You know what? The world has gone cuckoo. cuckoo. I don't even drink coffee in the morning anymore. I go straight to wine. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> Seriously, people, it's Christmas. And it's crazy. The traffic... <laughs> you can't get anywhere. She's crying about the traffic. You gotta pay for the taxi driver fare and a half just to go half a block. It's a stupid treat. Jody, why are you crying over traffic? Are you okay? You're having crazy mood swings. Uh, fine. Do you want some water? Some what? Water? <laughs> On. I'm like Columbo over here. Look, you're not drinking. I'm fine. Your moods are all over the I'm place. I'm fine. Oh my God. My gut is telling me something. Please tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong. I'm pregnant. Oh! <laughs> I have an 18 year old going to the University of Maryland and I have to go shop for a crib after the show. Oh. Judy, what terrible news. Terrible, terrible, terrible news, but babies are a blessing. Babies are a blessing. I know. <laughs> I love babies, and I love you guys. Merry Christmas. I'm so happy for you. Me but too. 
Let me tell you something. If I was pregnant, I'd kill myself. Yeah. All right, we're almost out of time. And I just realized we never looked at your ornaments, Karen. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, here's one. I gotta be honest with you, they're not great. Nope. No, no, no. no they are not. They're not great. Don't quit your day job. Yeah, just put it back in the put box. Put it back in the box. It's offending me. All right, so uh, Merry Christmas. Merry everyone. Christmas, everybody. Yes. I gotta go. I gotta go get a crib. Yeah.